Hey guys, Bob Bob the Gamer here with part two of a uh, beginner's guide to Hellin tutorial. We're gonna just go ahead and pick up right where we left off Looks with Rayloff here. The only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends, the harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Just walk near Rayloff and he uses his... May as well take down your gear. He won't be needing it anymore. Knife to cut off your binds. Here we search Gungner. isn't coming back from the dead. Take his armor and anything else on him. Notice the arrow above his head. It's showing you what you need to be doing. So we just take all of Gungner's stuff. Alright. Go ahead and go to items. Pulling up your menu here. Go to apparel. This is going to be any of your armor, whatever you're wearing. We're going to go ahead and drop these foot wraps and rough span tunics. They didn't give us any armor or anything. It's just added weight. <clears throat> so we're going to put on the fur boots, the storm cloak outfit, weapons. All we got is an axe, so we'll put that on. Pull it out. Man, we are a frail old man. We, uh, we really went good with that, huh? No way to open this from outside. It's the Imperials. Keep moving. Take cover. Get this gate open. See that line there that shows that you're hiding. Once the eye opens, you are detected, and they will attack you as per usual. That's your best, huh? There it is. Maybe one of these superiors have the key. Let's see here. Here we are. Found the key. Let's see if it opens that door. We can go ahead and loot the bodies here. You might as well take everything. You got no weight on you. And you'll need to sell stuff once you get out of Helgen. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put on some bracers since we don't have any on. Those are heavy. We're going to put the light bracers on. My mistake. And we still do not have a light. Oh, there it is. Light helmet. I'm going to favorite that so that we don't have to wear it all the time. Access your favorite menu, at least on a controller. Um, with the up key. <clears throat> It'll pull up this little menu on the left here. You can unequip and re-equip items from there. We're going to go ahead and go into our magic and do our destruction. We're going to put uh, sparks on our left hand. It's a destruction spell. And then favorite it. You'll notice in the bottom left hand screen it'll say unfavorite. Signifying that you can see along with this dot here that it's favorited. So we can just kind of show you how it works here. There were sparks all over the place. Alright, we're going to go through this area before we go with Rayloff. And we're going to go get some more equipment <clears throat> and better supplies to help get us out of Helgen here. Come over here, we're going to check the chests up here. A little bit of gold, there's a helmet we can sell later, same one we're wearing. Um, over here, there's these books. Um, notice the book is glowing. I use a mod, it's uh, Unread Books Glow. It's uh, very useful. I highly recommend it if you have mods. Um, so we're just going to take this book here. I like to collect books. You don't have to, certainly. Um, there's one under there, too. I don't know if we'll be able to reach that one or not. doesn't look like it. I don't know what it is, but I guess we're not getting to it. Anyhow, come back over here. There's a sword on the rack here. Um, you can take the wine if you like, if you're um, an alcoholic, or if you want it to increase your stamina, you know, either way. I'm not, I don't really judge, you know, whatever you want to do with your life. Just, uh, I would advise that you drink responsibly and invite you to uh, encompass a safer lifestyle, but nothing wrong with some drinks now and then, as long as you do it responsibly. I don't mean to lecture you guys, you guys can make your own decisions. <clears throat> 
We're following Rayloff down here now. <coughs> Excuse my voice, guys. I'm sorry. I'm still recovering from a cold. Got some mucus build up in there. So I'm sorry about that. That dragon doesn't give up easy. Grab everything important and let's move. Dragon's burning everything to the ground. I just need to gather some more potions. Freedom or sovereign God! Storm! Get them! Show you how to use your spells if you're a mage. Or a frail old man, so. See if you can find any potions. Wielding an axe so furiously makes a little bit of lacking sense. Um, you can harvest the rabbit and the pheasant here. You can use them in uh, cooking pots later on in the game. As well as the dried ears and garlic braids. Those are uh, alchemy reagents. Very useful stuff here, guys. Um, if you want to build up your alchemy, you can make better smithing potions. You can make here potions. I mean, you can make all kinds of stuff. But you could take the... Uh, like salt, you can use that together with meat and make some pretty good stuff. Um, I believe it's salmon. You can take some salmon meat and some salt, use it in a cooking pot, and it gives you a uh, potion of um, <coughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry, it didn't give you a potion. It gives you a piece of meat that uh, recovers 75 hit points. So it's uh, very useful in the beginning stages of the game. Again, we're just going to kind of loot everything in here. Uh, just to uh, see that we got stuff to sell. Note the gray arrow once again. You guys are probably getting sick of me telling you about those. But uh, here's where you can just loot some potions. It was the optional quest that we had picked up. Large sack. We searched that for some food. These are empty. Get some apples. Probably can use that in cooking later on, which raises your alchemy skill. Potion. Some salt. Done. Let's get moving. <clears throat> Follow Rayloff down here. Trolls love. Hear that? Come on. That it? That's your best? Was Jarl Ulfric with you? No, I haven't seen him since the dragon showed up. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Ah, it's locked. See if you can get it open with some picks. We might need that gold once we get out. Probably don't need to say it here, guys. But, uh, see the arrow once again. I promise you I'll quit talking about these eventually. Just another book for your book collector. Search this knapsack right here. We get some uh, lock picks and then some uh, a potion. Run over this way. We can pick up the book here. There's also a few more lock picks here. If you're planning on playing a thief character, or not, you know lock picks are useful for everybody. And then there's also this is your first shield in the game you can get, I believe. Grab some more heavy stuff so we can carry it around and sell it later. Alright, the way that lock picking works is, uh, you know, it describes it right there. You gotta rotate your joysticks. One moves the pick around like this. And the other one, it'll uh, turn the knob if you're anywhere close to it. So let's see here. See how it's turning the knob here? It'll automatically open once you're right. There it goes. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna take this spell tome sparks just to sell it. Since we started with that spell. Take the mages close since he does not need them anymore. Leave the poor guy naked. Um, over here you can also unlock this door. In case you're just kind of looking for experience. The novice locks aren't too bad. And if you're new to Skyrim it would be a pretty good uh, practicing point. So now that we're uh, carrying too much weight here. We're just going to go through and we're just going to drop a bunch of stuff. Preferably heavier stuff. Your heavy armor is, well, heavier. Here we go. Took a genius to figure that one out, I know. So we're just going to drop that stuff. You can always come back for it if you're really short on gold, but I don't really find it necessary. 
check these out over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Nothing over here, but again, more lock picking experience. We broke a lock pick. Notice down at the bottom, lock picking 15 of 16, how, uh, how our bar is there. The blue shows how far it's filled. Leveled up to 16. This is how you level in Skyrim. Is There's no classes. There's only your uh, race or the type of human that you are. And you level up your character based on which skills you use. So you can do literally anything in the game. It's uh, one of my favorite features about the game is you're not bound to be a fighter or a mage or you know, a priest or anything like that. You can do anything. <clears throat> Just kind of looting these guys. Check this skeleton right here. Bone, uh, bone mold is also, uh, or, uh, God, you know, I can't even think of the name of it. It is bone meal. I personally wouldn't make a meal out of it, but you know, it's up to you guys. Um, that's used for alchemy, and it actually might be used for some cooking, too, as much as I made fun of it. I haven't delved too much into the cooking stuff, but, um, it's, it's, it's good stuff. You can get some pretty good stuff out of it. Here's another fight. We run out of mana pretty quick early game. So kind of watch your mana bar here. Let's see, he's mocking the old man. Just for what it's worth, guys, the uh, the appearance does not affect your gameplay. So even though I picked, you know, the frail old man preset, um, you know, I still function as though I would pick if I picked, you know, this guy over here with his goatee. We're again going to get over encumbered because we loot everything. Got us a bow now. I'll have to show you guys how to use the bow. I know a lot of people like to be archers and it's extremely useful when sneaking, you get bonus damage, doing it from a distance is only easier. Um, yeah, we dropped a good bit of weight here, but we looted his arrows. You do need arrows in order to use your bow guys, it's not built in. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and equip our longbow over here, pull it out. And when we do that, you'll notice the quivers on our back automatically. I believe it equips the lowest um, damage one. I mean, you can go into your weapons and adjust that. But um, also, um, if you have flames or a fire spell, you can light up these grease traps, and it'll set fire to these archer guys if you're uh, looking to do that. Kind of wait on Rayloff. He's being a little slow tonight. Did not eat his breakfast. Alright guys, here's where I think a lot of people miss stuff. It's nothing major, you know, nothing you can't go on with. with uh, you know, if you don't get it, you know, it's Helgen. It's the start of the game. It's not like you're gonna, you know not be able to win the game you know so to speak or you know progress beneficially without this little bit of coin and potion and but uh, you know it's just every little bit helps when you're uh, fresh into the game you know you'll uh, if you're a melee character you'll uh, you'll go through potions quite a bit um, so you know I just try and grab as many as possible they they weigh a half a pound each so it's not too bad doesn't go anywhere. Coin purse. I guess we better try this way.
Notice the webs. Whenever there's webs around in Skyrim, you guessed it. Giant spiders. So if you don't like spiders, I'm sorry. Here's how the bow works. You actually have to aim it. There's no uh, insta-win. Maybe we can hit this spider up here. Freyloff gets out of our way here. Frostbite Venom, value 21. You might as well. And we got him in the leg. Our old guy's, uh, he's a pretty good shot. Getting landing in specific legs over here. Um, just up here you can get some spider eggs, another alchemy ingredient. And we're just knocking over the spiders. Trophies. Guess he doesn't need them anymore. You can uh, also loot these guys and give a little bit of gold. Some, uh, a lot of the times they'll give pick, uh, lock picks. So that's pretty beneficial. Up here. Skeever tail. It's another alchemy ingredient. After we're done with that, we'll proceed this way, right after uh, Rayloff here. <clears throat> you run, uh, you run faster without your weapon out. I truly really wanted to try and show you guys uh, all the weapon choices. You know, melee combat or archery spells. I suppose I could show you the shield up here. Hold up! There's a bear just ahead. See her. Coin purse. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. It might take her by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Alright, well normally what you can do is you can kind of sneak up on the bear, you see it right there, shoot it with arrows, take it down that way. You get the sneak attack damage, you see it in the top left. Um, but, uh, since I have not shown you guys the shield, we're gonna go ahead and go, uh, sword and board for a little bit. Probably until we're done. That way you guys can kind of see the, uh, difference here. Well, he dropped pretty quick. Bear pelts are good for making leathers. You can do your own smithing in this game. It's a great system. It's really fun. A little bit grindy, but um, it's still really fun. Um, anyway, this is how you block. You move slower. Um, I believe you take half damage from arrows up until you level up the perk tree. Then you can get points and no damage. Um, it adds more armor, obviously. But uh, yeah, I mean that's that's sword and board or sword and axe, if you will. So we killed the bear, we're just gonna follow Rayloff over here, or he's gonna follow us rather. Down this way. That looks like the way out. You would make it. Hide over here with Rayloff. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best that we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, save. That is the end of our Escape from Helgen. If you've got this far, congratulations. You have beat the tutorial of the game. Much more to come, guys. Anyway, Bob Bob the Gamer here. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like. If not, it's cool. I live in a trailer. I don't need to move up in life. But uh, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. And that'll do it for me.